Hey gang, Jack Lair here, uh, and just realized that I haven't done a pickups video. Uh, I've done a handful of videos uh, showing you some of the cool things that I found in a little bit more detail about them. Uh, but I realized that there is a whole bunch of stuff that I just haven't had the time uh, to go over. So I'm just going to show them all to you, and then if anything jumps out at you, just let me know, and I'll try and cover it uh, in a little bit more detail. Uh, I will start with the gaming things, because I know that's why most of you are watching. And there are just a handful of things, uh, one leading to a project and one in mid-project. Uh, the first thing that I found, uh, this lovely Game Boy Color, uh, the screen is beautiful, uh, the batteries worked, it came with a Spongebob game that I really don't uh, care about, uh, but it is a perfectly functional, except for the speaker. Uh, I tore it apart, uh, unhooked this speaker, hooked up another speaker that I had, and that worked just fine, but that speaker wouldn't fit inside here. So now I've ordered another speaker, but because it's so close to Christmas and this is the year of COVID and, and everything else, I might get a speaker sometime by February. One of the other things that I picked up uh, is uh, this little beauty. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the NES Advantage. This is a... Uh, phenomenal controller for the Nintendo Entertainment System and uh, the reason that I got this is that I watched someone put a Raspberry Pi Zero inside a, a, a normal NES controller and I thought well that's cool and all but why not do it with this? So this is going to be uh, a project I am waiting for a few parts to come in once again, probably not going to get them until the beginning of next year. The two games that I've picked up, I've picked up a whole bunch on the PC. Um, let's see, uh, Cyberpunk just came out, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, I picked up Space Engineers because it was on sale. I'm still playing Skyrim because why not? Baldur's Gate 3. I got Baldur's Gate 3, but I haven't gotten that far in it because they're going to, they're resetting. Uh, pick this up, Blue Dragon Plus, and these I got from Media Reload, which is a, a local chain here, but it seems to, like, their stickers look exactly like the stickers from a uh, movie trading company down in Texas, and I can never remember if they're the same company or if they just use the exact same stickers. I'm just kind of looking for something to do to kill time during the day, because while I'm out doing whatever in between uh, deliveries, I wanted something to do. This one, I just, I... It pushed all the buttons today when I saw it. Uh, and this is Outlaw Golf. What is it? Nine, nine more holes of Xmas. And it's a Blockbuster exclusive, which you know I always snap those up. Uh, and it's an Xbox game, which Xbox games aren't really all that in demand anymore. I don't know. I don't know why, but they're... Uh, consoles are super hard to find in my area. That's it as far as video games go, sort of. And let me get the next thing. This little beauty is a uh, mid-2009, I believe it's mid-2009. Oh, I've gotten it dirty again. Um, whoever did, white is not the answer. Black gets lost, white gets dirty. Gray, brown, orange, red, blue. Other colors, please. Anyways. Uh, mid-2009 uh, MacBook, and I've got, I'm in the process of doing a video on this because uh, I have, this is going to become uh, kind of my portable retro station, I guess is the easiest way to look at it. And the same place that I got that, I also got the uh, airport base station, um, and this is the A1034, for those who care, um, and they were nice enough to tape the, all the stuff on the bottom. So I, it, was, it was easy for me to hop in and reset, and it's got uh, it's got a phone line and all kinds of other nonsense, some fun ports for you guys to look at. It is missing the the silver front, which I don't get, um, but you know, I got a new hat uh, because it has been uh, well over two years, and I have not been able to find my Zelda hat. I just just gone, and I haven't been able to find another one just like it. Uh, so I'm just winging it. Uh, so, and now we have the Mandalorian hat, because, which is 
a phenomenal show. My very own Grogu. Uh, so, and uh, this was a uh, birthday present, uh, as was this shirt, uh, which I don't know if you can see it, but it says, I, I do what I want. And uh, Grogu freaks out all of my pets, all the dog, well, the oldest dog doesn't care. Uh, but all of the younger dogs and both of the cats want nothing to do with Grogu. So I did also pick up, uh, there's one thing that I left out of here, which is uh, Night Shift. It's an old movie, it's terrible, but I loved it, so I picked it up. Uh, uh, but I found, uh, hi again, Chief. I found uh, Xena, season two. Uh, turns out I only had season one. Uh, so picked up season two. Um, and over the summer, the one of the few movies that we actually went to see that came out new in theaters is a, a movie that I had been looking forward to uh, for almost a year and a half, two years, I guess. The New Mutants. I uh, went and saw it at the drive-in uh, with my son and one of my friends. And he, this movie is not great, but really good. And it's it's a shame what happened to it is that it got it got kind of stuffed in the whole Disney Fox is is this Marvel is it not Marvel is it X-Men but X-Men are dead so what so it just got crumbled and the other thing that I picked up that I just like it forgotten about was the crow and I was like I was just thinking I was like what what there were there were many crow movies but this was this was the first one. This was the, the the good one, for lack of a better term. And there were there were some of the other ones had redeemable qualities, and I enjoyed the continuation of the story. But this had just vanished. And then I looked online, and lo and behold, it was there for like six bucks. So I was like, click, send, thank you. I don't know if it's cool or weird. So this is uh, the the USA submissions for the Emmys of 2010. So basically what it is, is that this is a, a, a book of uh, DVDs that has quotes and who they who directed it, who's supporting who, and it has a list of episodes on it. And it's, it's just fascinating because I've never actually seen, I've never actually seen one of these. Like I knew that these happened and I knew that uh, like you sent, you sent, these out to the Emmy people or whoever and then uh, like they looked at it and went well, okay I guess I like you last media and then I forget so I sent a picture of this uh, to my wife who is a fan of Pat Benatar and was like ah yes we're not gonna hang it on the wall but I want to listen to it check and make sure it's good and bring it home excuse me and she said she was just like and i checked it and it was looked beautiful so uh it's gonna go into the uh vinyl collection we we will start with the nonsense tech uh and there are, are two pieces of that really one is a thing that uh i believe we got for my grandparent-in-laws or something like that and uh this i found at uh the thrift store and this is a mail station this is email made easy so basically what this is that this is a fully functional uh email device that it has uh, a modem and you plug the modem into the phone line and then you set it when it, you tell it when you want it to dial out it dials out in the middle of the night and then it downloads your emails for you awesome right i don't have a phone so I can't make it work. Originally, uh, you can see Kmart, whatever that is, $9.99. Uh, yard sale, 40 bucks. I did not pay uh, a tenth of that. These were 60 cents. And these are HP blank cards. Now, I've done a very limited amount of research and as near as I can tell, there are, there are not 120 in here. There are uh, two of the, there are two uh, books that are completely empty. 
But then there are, there are these, which these are, and you'll see one that just says Wumpus Hunt, and I believe that is uh, a program that used to do things, as it was a text-only game. But these are tiny little magnetic strips. And you would feed these into an HP calculator, from what I understand. And all of this is based off of uh, the little bit of research I did while I was sitting in my car. And I didn't understand a lot of it then. And this is, of course, the, the danger of, of uh, going to the thrift store, is that you, you find one interesting thing, but the part that makes this interesting thing functional is not there. That ends the uh, mostly useless tech. Over this holiday, over this winter, uh, going to attempt to build some fairly weird things. One of the things that I needed was a, a really weird uh, USB hub. And this is a powered USB hub that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plugs on it. And it plugs into the computer. I didn't bring up here. I also bought uh, you know the the big movie poster things that are in movie theaters where they like clamp to the outside and then you put the poster in and you clamp it down. So for some reason I found those for five dollars so I bought eight of them and we're gonna put them up downstairs. Uh, we've been painting all over the place uh, doing some decorating even though these walls aren't painted yet so I'm gonna have to take those down and whatever. I uh, also just got my wife the new iPhone 12 mini I think. So this is the Insignia NSBBTCD01 and look at this beast of a thing and I've cleaned it up a little bit um, but everything works on this uh, and the main reason that I got this is that it was uh, five dollars and it has it works as a Bluetooth speaker and this is gonna go out to the garage so that that way while I'm working out there I don't have to either wear my headphones or listen to the very tiny speaker uh, that's not fair I mean it's a phone it's not meant to be really loud but this gets really loud uh, the weirdest thing about this is that uh, well it can be powered with batteries that's not the weird part the weird part is, is that on the back here, it's got this USB port. This USB port does nothing other than power other things. Because I was like, ah, I'll put an MP3 and I plugged it in and the, the thing lit up and nothing happened. I'm like, that's weird. How do I even get to the USB settings? And there were none because all that does is power other things. So this will be getting a video, uh, this last thing. Uh, just because it, it it confused me and it is just a uh, and, and this is this was half off so I got it for like 250 this is the uh, Sun Gale 7 inch Wi-Fi digital photo frame and as near as I can figure it that was my cat yes Ember we hear you she's gonna do that for a while now but if you look down in that corner, like it shows Flickr, YouTube, all this nonsense. And then it shows that it has like, so apparently it runs on Android. Uh, but I'm going to play with this and see if I can get it. Uh, because basically what I want to do is I just want to, I want, I want a photo frame to just run like my three or four, like my top 10 movies of all time, just nonstop. So that as I walk by, I can look over and go, oh, love that. You know, that is it. Uh, we made it through. Thank you very much for watching. I know that uh, this may be a little weird uh, as we are uh, upstairs. And I don't think I've filmed upstairs in a long time. But there we are. You going to come up here? Yes. Hi. Want to say hi to everybody. This is Ember. Yes. Okay. Go back to whatever you were doing. You know, like I said before, if you, if any of these uh, strike your fancy and you want to see uh, the gameplay of some of the things, uh, uh, whatever, uh, let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. And as always, 
Play on. And we're clear. One, two, three. Just as doing that. Hi, Chief. Hi, Chief. Yes, hello. Sorry, Chief is here. But, wait one. It's telling a story. And then uh, the fun thing is you can lay him down and put him to sleep. Which we will do now. And then we'll wait for him to actually go to sleep. So, this is one of, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Straight jackets are awesome. Uh, was a really, I just, I know I can do something with this.